factors. Let's talk for a second about the debate between what is best, synthetic thyroid hormones versus bioidentical thyroid hormones. Well, the answer is neither one of them is best. This is actually a real red herring of a debate that I see a lot of people that are suffering with Hashimoto's and low thyroid symptoms. They get sucked into this debate over you know, which is better, synthetic or natural. And their answer is there is no better one. It depends on what works for the individual. In reality, what hormone you should be on if you have Hashimoto's is only about 10% of the battle. The other 90% of the battle is what are you going to do to calm down this autoimmune response? Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that don't understand Hashimoto's, they don't understand autoimmunity, they don't understand uh, really what triggers it, what perpetuates it, and so instead we get stuck on these really useless moot debates about Synthroid versus Armor, Lavoxyl versus Natrothroid, and it doesn't matter. What I always tell my uh, people coming in that are suffering with low thyroid symptoms, uh, this is funny, this just happened the other day, I'm working with a lady who, her TSH is like 10.0, she was never diagnosed with Hashimoto's, we ran the test, she's got Hashimoto's, but she just doesn't want to be on a medication, she wants to, doesn't want to be on a synthetic medication, she wants to try one of the natural things, but she doesn't know, and I said, look, her name's uh, Kim, I said, Kim, you know, you're, you're killing yourself, you're really punishing yourself for no reason, I mean, if you had a leg that was amputated, if you wanted to walk again, I mean, you'd get a prosthetic leg, right? I mean, you wouldn't just hobble around and, you know, crawl on the floor. I mean, you'd get a prosthetic leg. They, they make prosthetic legs to help that exact situation. And in Hashimoto's, it's the same way. In Hashimoto's, you're going to lose pieces of your thyroid gland, and you're never going to get them back. And being worried or having some kind of problem with being on a medication for that, I mean, you're just unnecessarily punishing yourself. I mean, you deserve to have some kind of thyroid function, right? So I don't know if you may have been aware of that issue, but please, I mean, if you've got Hashimoto's, there's a really good chance, I mean, a really good chance, you're going to have to be on some type of thyroid hormone replacement. But what kind of thyroid hormone replacement is going to vary from person to person? Let me explain why. With synthetics, some people do great on synthetics. Now, if you go to the internet and you try to get all these looking chat rooms and things, you're going to people say that Synthroid is awful, and it may be awful for that person who made the post. But synthetics do great for some people. And some people, bioidenticals, are awful. They have a horrible time with them. And here's why. When you have Hashimoto's, you have an autoimmune attack. You start destroying inside your thyroid gland. You start destroying your thyroid peroxidase enzyme, and you could destroy your thyroglobulin. Okay? When you have autoimmunity and you've attacked one tissue, the taboo is broken. The whole body is on the menu now. Okay? So what can happen is the autoimmune attack can now progress to pat beyond TPO and beyond TGB to now you can start attacking your own T4 hormone and T3 hormones. So check out what happens. If you're that person and you start taking uh, Armor or Natrothroid and you have a really bad reaction, you feel awful when you take it, not hyper, but you have all these other low thyroid signs, you might feel inflamed, well, there's a really good chance that what happened is you just put wood on the fire. Okay, you were already attacking your thyroid hormones, and now you just gave your auto, your immune system, a whole bunch of more fuel to attack. Hope that makes sense. That person usually does great on synthetics. Now, some people don't do great on synthetics, and here's why: Synthroid and these other things they have fillers in them, and some of these fillers can stimulate your immune system to be more out of balance, and you can have a reaction to them. You know, like you could feel inflamed, more low thyroid symptoms. That's the basic two scenarios that happen. The fact is, if you're watching this, you're just going to have to find a doctor who will work with you, and you're going to find which one works best for you. Don't get sucked into the debate about natural versus synthetic. That is so a waste of your time. What you really have to do is focus on what am I going to do to get this autoimmune thing into control, because the thyroid hormones are going to do very little. The replacement is going to do very little to address that. And your autoimmune attack can keep on progressing and can move into other tissues. And that's really, really dangerous because it can attack your cerebellum, your pancreas, any tissue, and cause a whole lot more symptoms that are way worse than what you're already feeling. And those are bad enough. So you've got to find a doctor who understands, hey, it doesn't really matter if it's synthetic or natural. Just find out which one works for you and understands what happens if you respond badly to one of them. Who doesn't ignore it. 
And then secondly, you got to find someone who understands how to get this Hashimoto's process, this autoimmune process, get it under control and get it balanced.